Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More, it's Leo speaking. Today we are going to uh, go through how the modulator sequencer works in Sugarbyte the Seas. Before I start, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already, as that helps with growing the channel, bringing more tutorial videos and giveaways. So I'm inside the AUM, I'm going to use the Seas as a um, slave in terms of AUM being the host and um, let's start so let's create first a MIDI channel then an audio channel and let's select as a, an audio channel something like Vault and there is a reason which I will show you in a moment why I have selected Vault and then let's choose of course the Sys MIDI effect from Sugarbytes as a MIDI processor and let's link the two and for uh, um, the reference to the hardware, I'm using an Apple iPad 8th generation. Okay, let's open the sys, let's maximize that, let's ensure that we have an initialized preset, like so, perfect. And then let's check that we have external, here yeah, select as a trigger mode so that um, AUM will trigger the, the sys, perfect. Okay, so, <clears throat> Let's double click down here and this is where uh, the modulation sequencer is and this is what I'm going to go through now. Before I do that, let's uh, randomize a little bit um, something around pitch and velocity so that we have something to play. So let's select something like an harmonic uh, minor in C that is fine. Let's randomize the pitch and also the velocity and let's click play to listen to what we have. Okay, perhaps a little bit too fast. Let's go here where it says uh, tempo. Let's click on that and let's choose something like one end. Okay, a little bit better. So let's double click again around the modulation sequencer. So first thing to say is that um, this sequencer has eight tracks, which you can select here on the left hand side. So first, second, third, and so on. You can disable all the tracks playing like so. Okay, you can re-enable it clicking in here. And then you can also deactivate a particular um, track just acting on these on and off buttons specific to the track that is selected. Now you can copy and paste and move left, right, up and down, use your controls as per the other sequences. Now, <clears throat> what is really nice is that you can apply modulation to your internal synth if you want to, which is the selection done here, where you can enable and then choose what you can modulate, but I'm not going through that because we are not going to use the internal synth, and that is quite limited anyway, so it's better to use the sys for uh, other uh, purposes, i.e. to control the instruments, like in this case inside the UM. So let's select uh, where it says bank select here, let's click that, and let's choose controllers, and let's choose um, uh, CC message number three, like so. Um, we know we have four bars uh, looking up here. One, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. So let's draw something like, why not like that. So we have created now um, some steps in the first uh, uh, four bars. Okay, and um, therefore it will be sending values against that CC message number three to the vault, which is on this channel. So let's open the vault. Let's... Um, uh, maximize this. Let's click where it says CC there and let's assign the CC there. Oh, it's already selected free. Okay, let's click save. Let's uh, un unclick the CC controls there and let's click play. <laughs> And you can see that uh, the cutoff uh, uh, dial is moving up and down as e we have programmed it in the sys here on track number one. So similarly, what you can do, you can go to another track, you can select uh, another uh, CC message like number nine, like so. Let's do something faster like that. Okay, maybe a little bit lower like this. Okay, perfect. And then let's go back to the vault. Uh, let's click on CC and let's uh, assign 15, which is already assigned to um, 
the uh, Q dial or the um, resonance um, uh, dial. So, and let's click play. <laughs> I should have selected 9, non-15. Uh, here we go, save, let's come out from there and let's retry. So as you can see, quite nice. You can have up to eight modulation tracks which control any parameters that you define which uh, is quite cool really really nice the next thing i want to show you is down here on the left you have macro controls for uh, all the tracks so you can copy all the sequencer um tracks and paste them you can move left and right as well you can see there you go everything moves left and right and you can see it also in other tracks in other sequencer like so so in a, instead of being individual to each sequencer these are macro, they will act on uh, um, the entire set of sequences. And then here you have a randomize button, which is quite uh, quite nice. And you can set also the minimal changes and the maximum changes as well. And it's a little bit interesting. So have a go, click on it. And as you can see, it has created quite a lot of changes for all the different tracks. He has even enabled and disabled some of the modulation tracks. It has added performances here, mute notes. It has randomized the velocity, the pitch, and not only for the loop that you have defined, but for the entire um, eighth bars in this case. So let's uh, increase the size of the loop and let's click play. <laughs> Here you don't hear much is because there are a lot of notes which have been muted, like so. so. So let's remove some of these muting. So like so, and let's click play. So quite interesting, isn't it? And uh, quite, uh, uh, I suppose, um, helpful if you want to for example experiment with sounds experiment with uh, some patterns okay i hope you enjoyed now you know how to use the modulation sequencer eight tracks uh, and see you in the next video thank you bye